Hello students, our next topic is word power for reading skills. Now what is this word power for reading skills? You get a lot of exercises in the competitive examinations where, which requires a lot of reading from your side. So when you read such questions, whether it is sentences or passages, you will definitely come across a lot of new terms, new English words which you might have not heard before. So how are you going to encounter such questions? This word power is nothing but an outline which is going to tell you to concentrate more on reading. See now there are three types of situations which can arise in the examination. Number one is the active vocabulary. Now active vocabulary are the words which are already being used by us in our daily life. So you will definitely know the meanings for those words. The next is uh, words that we come across the books, uh, in books and speed, uh, you know, and uh, magazines or you would have come across, you would have heard it from people when they converse with you. But when you want to use those words in your conversation, you become quite hesitant. The third type is the passive vocabulary, completely new to you. You wouldn't have heard such words before. So you might have all these three types of words or vocabulary in your examinations. How are you going to encounter them? Here under word power section, I can give you an outline of few commonly used words. But is that enough? Definitely no. There are a few things which I would like to tell you before we get into the vocabulary. To improve your word power, you are expected to read a lot of newspapers, magazines, watch English news channels, English programs. And do not forget to have a small notepad with you always. And what are you going to do with that notepad? Whenever you come across any new word, which you haven't heard before, which your friend uses, or a new word that you had seen in the newspaper, immediately jot it down. Go, do not hesitate to refer the dictionary. Get the meaning and start using it in your day-to-day -day conversation. That will make the passive vocabulary an active one. So this again comes only with practice. We are now going to see a few commonly used words under word power with their meanings. Let's begin. My first word, stout. Stout means fat. Exalted. Noble, haughty, seeming to be superior. Receptive, willing to consider new ideas. Prefer, to like, braggart, boastful person. 
You know who boasts, right? Someone who praises him or herself is a braggart, mercenary, money minded. altruistic unselfish or being devoted to people we have come across this word in the earlier session philanthropist Philanthropist means a person who helps people with money and material. The next word honest. You will definitely know the meaning for this word. Honest means not lying or saying the truth. Okay, the first set of words are ready here on the board. Let's go through the words again. Stout means being fat, exalted is a noble, haughty seems to be superior, receptive, person who is willing to consider or accept newer ideas, prefer to like something, braggart, braggart is a boastful person, a person who always boasts about him or her. Mercenary means money minded, we had seen this word earlier and altruistic also we had seen unselfish or being devoted to people and philanthropist is a person who helps people with money and material, any sort of help, monetary help or material help and finally it's honest, honest you know being truthful without lying. The next word is hyperbole. No, hyperbole is nothing but exaggerating something. You describe something, you know, uh, by uh, talking about it bigger, more bigger than the actual uh, uh, outline of it. So that's exaggerate. Criterion. Criterion is a standard by which something is judged. The next word, integrity, integrity means the quality of being honest. Plausible. Seeming reasonable. Some 
consulting with teams to get a sense, being reasonable. Splendid. Excellent. We say, right? That's a splendid performance. So excellent. Fine. Rapacious. Greedy. Irrasable means a person who hates other society or other human other human being. Irrasable, a person who hates other people. Unwary. Unwary means not cautious, not being cautious enough. Expedient. Expedient is nothing but to lessen the anger and equivocal, equivocal means biased. So your hyperbole means exaggerating something, to exaggerate any information. Criterion is the standard by which something is judged. Integrity is the quality of being honest. Plausible means seeming reasonable. Splendid means excellent. Rapacious is being very greedy. Irrasable is a person who hates other people or hates other humans of any other society. Unwary is not being cautious. Expedient is to lessen the anger. And equivocal means biased, being partial. Some more words. Divulge. Divulge means to disclose a secret. Chronicles. Chronicles means a written record of events. Archives. Archives means a collection of historical documents. The next word, renounce. To give up. The next word is going to be poise. 
What's poise? Poise is to stay calm. Bluff. Bluff is when you try to make a person to believe your lie. Make believe the lie. In the next word, virtue. Virtue means moral goodness. Having a good you know, moral or a value is called virtue. The next word is conspicuous. What is conspicuous? Conspe conspicuous means uh, to see something early. So how do you spell conspicuous? C-O-N-S-P-I-C-U-O-U-S. Conspicuous means that which is easily seen without any difficulty and the next word is allegiance what's allegiance allegiance means uh, a support or being loyal we can make it as loyalty loyalty is also called Allegiance to shrink. What is to shrink? We all know shrinking is to decrease in size. Let's go through these words once again. Divulge, disclosing a secret. That which was a secret earlier is being disclosed now is called divulging. Chronicles, it's a written record of evidences, evidences of things that had happened. Archers, a collection of historical documents. Renounce, renouncing is nothing but to give up something. Poise. Calm. We say poised person, a calm person. Bluff. When you bluff, you are trying to convince the other person to believe your lie. Virtue is moral goodness. Conspicuous is that which is easily foreseen. Allegiance means being loyal or giving a support. And to shrink is nothing but that which decreases in size.